Hi everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in today's video, we are going to talk about a node called Depth Anything. So recently I found out a very interesting tool uh, which is Depth Anything and it creates depth out of any kind of video. Yes, it's pretty interesting and let's see what can we do with this node. So before starting this, uh, I would like to mention the creator of this tool is uh, Rafael Perez and I will give a link to the description so that you can download and you can uh, use it. So I have a GitHub link and probably I'll provide you in the description. So yes, so over here you can easily see I am having one video and it's a video in mp4 format and if i'm going to play yes my camera is going inside my footage right something like that we have a good amount of camera movement right so what you have to do so once you downloaded this what you have to do just you have to extract here and you will get a folder called category right so you have to copy it and you have to go to your users so i'll go over here and i'll go user and i'll go to admin and you'll find over here dot nuke and you have to paste it just paste your folder over here and that's it after that what you have to do just uh, you have to go to right click and you will find uh, a tab called category and you have to go depth estimation and depth anything version 2 so if you, if you can see over here we don't have much options but i'm going to connect this and if i'm going to view in few seconds it will give us a good depth estimation can you see that isn't it great right so i'm going over here and i'll show you what we have so in info you can find rafael silva and you can go to github and you can download it right of course uh, and if i'm going over here and preview false colors we have final results so basically what will happen you will have a depth information over here right and apart from that i'll if i want to see preview i can see uh down raise is full raise this is full raise means resolution will be little better also i can bypass srgb conversion or if i want to control depth like i can far i can control my far and i can do my nears like this so it's a pretty good estimation so i am leaving it uh, by default and if you want to invert it you can invert map as well right now what else we can do so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a note called copy and definitely i will copy my this depth information over here so like i'll copy my depth to depth right so that's how i will get my depth information over here right so this is pretty interesting and also if i want i can invert it uh suppose that i want to do some kind of grading based on this depth so what i can do i can take a node called grade and i can connect it and once i am going to use mask as my depth right so if i'm doing this you can easily see i can grade it isn't it great right so if i want to invert i can invert it like this can you see this so if you want to do some kind of quick grading also can be done like i can do this and probably i want to load on like this right suppose that if i want to add some fogginess to the background so that's also can be done so what i'm going over here i'm going to take a very quick uh, constant and might be i can do this like i can pick any color probably i can pick this might be and i can take a shuffle node i can connect it like this and i can shuffle my depth so i need to connect like this right and i can take a node called merge and i will multiply my constant with my shuffle like multiply so what will happen you will have this thing but you want my depth or you want my 
constant or fog in the background over here so what i need to do i need to take a note called invert and i'll invert it so what i'll have i'll have something like this and if i want to change this probably i can take a grade node and might be i can use rgba and i can tweak something like this might be this right so in background i want to use right again after this i can take merge node and i can easily add my fogginess probably i will load on my mix so if you can see i can add a little fogginess kind of stuff before and after so isn't it great and it's throughout my footage right so i can use it like this can you see that also if you want to do some kind of uh, focus and defocus i can take a gd focus node very quickly and i can connect this over here and probably uh suppose that i want to focus on this area so i will put my focal length or focal point over here might be i want to focus over here and also i'll go over here focal plane setup and i can do this right so probably i'll increase some focal plane setup and if i'm going over here in results so you can see this thing is defocused this is in focus and also this will be in defocus right so it's pretty good tool uh, you can think of using it it's it's again it's i'm not sure how it's happening but it's doing its job so yeah i hope you love this video and you can use this node in your day-to-day -day compositing and you will be benefited by using this node right so i hope this video is helping you and if you think this video is helping you Please don't forget to like this video, share this video, and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is WFXY signing off. Have a good day.